and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I I I I just want to play a little something for y'all in the background, and and I've never heard it before, but I's gonna play it, and I'm hoping y'all gonna understand. Alice and James. I'm letting you know I've heard of Alice and James, but I've never listened to Alice and James. And I want to let y'all know there's a possibility. There is a possibility. Can't guarantee it. Can't guarantee it. Can't guarantee it. But there is a possibility that me and Alice and James or Wonderland or however you want to say it, we we gonna we gonna be doing that. Now apparently my system says you ain't playing nothing. How dare you sit up here and think you're gonna play something when I without my permission? And I'm about to go ahead and throw it out the window. So we ain't gonna be playing Alice in Chains right now anyway, because I got something to talk to y'all about. But y'all gonna be hearing from Alice in Chains in the future. All right, hey, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we're at video number, I believe it is 23 in the empowerment series. This video is not gonna be long. We're gonna get to the point and explain the point, and hopefully you'll get the point. Again, we're probably going to 27 videos of the empowerment series or 30, but it won't be any more than 30. And there won't be any more A, B, and C versions of a video. We'll get straight to the point. We're going to 27 to 30, more than likely 30. But either way, so that we get y'all attention, so that y'all understand, let me go ahead and give you a preview of what you can expect henceforth. Here's the first thing. The document we created for all of you, the document that's entitled, well, the one that I refer to, INRI, and then it's a small claims petition. This is what it talks about. Do your research on this document right here, Emergency Power Statute, Senate Report 93-549. The only thing, sorry about that, the only thing you want to do is read the forward. This is the forward. You don't have to go backwards. You don't have to go sideways. Since March 9, 1933, the March 9, 1933 Act and the Congressional Record of March 9, 1933, that's this document called the New Deal. That's this document called the New Deal. Go to sacom 911com forward slash PDFSs, all in capitalization, PDFS, all capitalized, and you will be able to just type in the search bar, New Deal, and this will pull up. This is on page 17. Since March 9, 1933, the United States has been in a state of declared national emergency. Those are two very big words, national emergency. In fact, there are now in effect, they just, uh, President Bush, I believe it was 2008, uh, not 2008, 2000, no, it was around 2002, President Bush got rid of the one with Korea. But anyway, in effect, four presidentially proclaimed state of emergencies, national emergencies. In addition to the national emergencies declared by President Roosevelt in 1933, March 9, 1933, he declared it March 6, 1933, there are also the national emergencies proclaimed by Truman, December 16, 1950, and the Korean, uh, during the Korean conflict, and the states of national emergency declared by President Nixon on March 23, 1970, and August 15, 1971. These proclamations give force to 470 provisions of federal law. Now, let's prove to you that it is unconstitutional what they did. These hundreds of statutes delegate to the president extraordinary powers, ordinarily exercised by Congress, which affect the lives of American citizens in a host of all-encompassing manners. This vast range of powers taken together confer enough authority to rule this country to rule this country, government was never supposed to rule the country. Pay attention. Go back and understand how the United States was set up. It was never meant for the government to rule over the people, ever. They just came from a rulership where the king ruled over the people, and that's what they did the declaration about. To rule this country without reference to normal constitutional powers. Again, they just told you that the Constitution doesn't allow them to do that. Without the Constitution is what that says. Now, let's prove it to you so that y'all don't think that I'm just adding words to what they said back in 1973. 
That was all the way back in 1973. So let's make sure what they did was unconstitutional. We are going to go here so that everybody gets it. This is the act. We're going to go to page 83 of the act. Just so that you know, one more page. This page right here, the one where you got the top paragraph right there, we're going to go right there. You see that 1933, page 83, congressional record of March 9, 1933. Pay attention. Mr. London, or London, London, Mr. Speaker, today the Chief Executive, the President of the United States, the Chief Executive, sent to the House of Representatives a banking bill for immediate enactment. Now, this was sent by the President. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the President doesn't get to introduce a bill to Congress. It can only be done by a member of legislature. Don't tell nobody. The author of this bill seems to be unknown. What was the president doing giving them a bill? No one has told us who drafted the bill. Wait a minute. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't even know who drafted the bill. Don't y'all notice what the legislative process is? Legislative process says that it has to be introduced by a member of Congress. The bill has to be drafted by a member of Congress, and they don't know who drafted the bill. There appears to be a printed copy on the speaker's desk, Mr. Speaker. See, he's talking to Mr. Speaker. But no printed copies are available for House members. Well, where is our copy? All, all the members are supposed to have a copy of the bill so that they can look over the bill. The bill has been driven through the House in cyclonic speed after 40 minutes of debate, 20 for the minority and 20 for the majority. I have demanded a roll call, but I've been able to get the attention of the chair, the speaker, the speaker, the speaker. Others have done the same. Then he lists the Congress members. Fifteen men were standing up demanding a roll call. Hey, are they, who's here? Anybody here? But that number was not sufficient. We therefore have a spectacle in the House of Representatives of the United States of America passing after 40 minutes of debate a bill its members never read and never saw. A bill whose author is unknown. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. That's not how Congress works. It's called the legislative process. They just said that they did not follow the legislative process when enacting this law. Oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on a minute. That means it's unconstitutional. That means it is not a valid law. So the document we produce for you, hold on one second, please. I'll be right back. I didn't have to go far, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it turns out that it was sitting right here. Now, pay attention. This is mine. This is Eon. It says the United States has guaranteed and protected the right to petition for redress of grievance. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down here. Y'all don't need to know what my issues are because it ain't for y'all business. Now, look, under the new law, the money is issued to the banks in return. Now, this is where Congress has the authority under the new law to subjugate the American people. Congress does not have the authority, and that's what you're saying. And so what Congress says, the author of this bill seems to be unknown. No one has told us who drafted this bill. What you're doing with this document, not only are you bringing a small claims lawsuit, but you're challenging these laws. These laws that have been applied to you and others unlawfully and unconstitutionally. These laws, these laws, the 700 and or 470 laws that were unconstitutional, that's what you're challenging. Congressional members was, were, are elected into office to represent the will of the people and not to follow rules. I do hereby challenge the constitutionality of the March 9, 1933 Act as it was admitted on the record that there was no author of the bill, that this was in complete disregard for the legislative process. Legislative process requires the bill to be introduced by a member of Congress and a member of the legislature, an elected a member, an elected official, and it cannot be done in secret. It must be through committee. That is bill, supposed to be that this bill was documented on the record as being rushed through and ignoring constitutional process. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's been done for you. That particular complaint fits every single situation because there is nothing that they can do. They can't argue with you. They can't dismiss it because you're bringing a valid claim. Nobody can say that you're not bringing a valid claim. Bring your claim, people.
challenge these laws that they're applying to you, even on a state level. That's how they're able to apply them on the state level because it's unconstitutional. All of the state laws stem from that law. The money, it stems from that law. That was the amendment to the Federal Reserve Act, which made your promissory notes legal tender. Mine, my hope is to get it completed and filed by the end of this week. That will be the first one. I'll be following one every week for the next six weeks. Follow me. I'm not playing with them anymore. Oh, people say, well, you're going into their courts. You better believe I'm going into their courts because there's no other way to expose the hypocrisy and the stupidity. This is how we are where we are now. I don't care about no stupid elections. This ain't got nothing to do with no stupid elections. This has everything to do with whether or not I have the right. Now, I got one more thing to say. Then I'm going to let y'all go. Ladies and gentlemen, I came up with this idea. Nobody else came up with it before me. I have not heard it said by anybody else. I came up with it. It was all me. Well, with the help of my God. And the idea that I have, I can't tell you. I have told it to at least three other people. So that, you know, it don't die with me if something were to happen. Un 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 forbid. But it doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be giving this idea to Datamax. Datamass. You don't know who Datamass is? Go to datamass.org or <laughs> look at the videos I've done on Datamass. Well, anyway, I'm giving the idea to Datamass. It's not on the website. You won't hear about it for a while because now, because I gave them the idea, I've already done the research for them, proving that it can be done. Not only can I prove it can be done, I can show them the government website where they say it can be done. Okay, the my question is, if the government website says it, then how come nobody's done it yet? Pay attention. Lord, have mercy. And so we, myself and Datamass, are going to be introducing a way for all of their members, the people who signed up for their program, to get the particular service. Now, hold on now. Datamass is offering their services at a discount right now. Those prices are not going to remain there. We did that for you people. That's right, you people, the people here on this channel. So, without any further ado, I'm going to let you get back to your day. I will tell you that the idea that I thought of, I said nobody else has thought of, and they already have a process for it, <laughs> for the government. What I mean by nobody else has thought of doing it this way, the government allows it, and I can prove that they allow it. And so, when I do it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and I, Datamass helps people do it, it's a game changer. It changes everything from this point forward. Takes care of all financial stupidity. All I can say is you're going to have to wait. I can't tell it to you just yet because I don't want to I don't want to have too many people thinking that they can jump ahead of the game because that's what people do. They listen to my videos and then they go out there and they create their own little shenanigans that end up ruining it for everybody else. And so I don't want that right now. Not with this one. This one's too impotent. Too impotent. All right? Take care of yourselves. But remember, the document is created for you to prove that this junk was unlawful, illegal. Gotta go. Take care.